Maybe it's because of all the species that share this world. We're the only one with the power to protect the entire planet. The only one with the power to protect every species on Earth. Including ourselves. Every species is here for a purpose. And each of us has a part to play. In suburban Phoenix, Arizona, many young people like to beat the summer heat by spending an afternoon shopping and socializing at the mall, an air-conditioned oasis in the arid American Southwest. But 100-degree temperatures can't dampen the enthusiasm of one young woman. 19-year-old Corey Johnson is probably the most visible, vocal, and effective environmental advocate in the state of Arizona. At age nine and a half, Corey Johnson co-founded Children for a Safe Environment. They targeted environmental abuse wherever they saw it. The CSE sought to explore environmental issues, not through the eyes of a Washington pressure group, but from the singular perspective of the typical American kid. Our fight began in Maryville with uh, the contaminated water and contaminated wells. And we stopped ENSCO, you know, a hazardous waste incinerator from going into a town. Working with Greenpeace, Corey and hundreds of young crusaders wrote letters, met with elected officials, held protests, candlelight vigils. This 1991 protest at the state capitol led the governor of Arizona to announce that the state was canceling its permit for the ENSCO incinerator to burn toxic waste. The governor said that if, if he would have went through with the process of letting ENSCO in you know, to Arizona, that his children would not have let him come home. Corey Johnson and the Children for a Safe Environment didn't sit back and rest on their laurels. They parlayed their success in the ENSCO closing to organize neighborhood cleanups, distribute canvas shopping bags, and stop two more toxic dumps from being built. 